Welcome to this presentation on the technological side of terminology extraction. So these are the unvalidated terminology extraction results by Sketch Engine, a terminology extraction and corpus analysis tool um, that analyzed a very small corpus of computer-assisted translation documentation. This table is based upon figure five from the article, Getting Started with Terminology Management via the ATA Chronicle uh, by me, Elena Brandt. So once we have these sorts of automatic terminology extraction results lists, how do we go about identifying the actual terms? Before getting into how professionals go about identifying terms from automatic terminology extraction results, let's learn a bit about the technological side of automatic terminology extraction. In an industry expert Q&A interview with me, Andraj Rapar discusses designing terminology extraction systems that are language specific. When designing a language specific terminology extraction system, terms are taught to combine two types of information, linguistic information and statistical information. On the linguistic information side, the machine is taught typical term formation patterns for a language. So in English, those term formation patterns might include noun, adjective plus noun, adjective plus noun plus noun, noun plus of plus noun, and similar uh, types of patterns that are typical for how terms are formed in the English language. That information is then combined uh, it's taught to the machine and combined with statistical information. So the machine looks for the frequency of single words and compound nouns that follow these patterns. Uh, the terminology extraction result lists are populated based upon the number of times that the words that fit these patterns appear in a corpus. Some of the issues with automatic terminology extraction results include noise, silence, and other issues. Noise refers to over-generated invalid data in the single word and compound nouns that have been produced by an automatic terminology extraction tool. So you can see examples of noise um, or words that just happen to appear together frequently in the corpus, uh, but they're not actually terms, including um, examples like they are, when you, the first, the effort, these are clearly not terms. They just happen to be words that appear together frequently in the corpus. Silence, on the other hand, is under-generated results in single words and compound nouns. Uh, so silence refers to terms that are actually terms, but they don't appear in the automatic terminology extraction results list uh, by virtue of um, not appearing with frequency within a corpus. Uh, this can happen with super high level terms within a subject field that subject matter experts don't use a lot. They tend to drill down and just use the more specific special terms. It can also be an issue of the way that language is typically used. So an example would be in English again, heart and lung disease where heart disease is not picked up by the machine by virtue of the fact that heart disease and lung disease have been combined together into a smaller, easier to say phrase, heart and lung disease. Sometimes in writing, um, we strive towards efficiency and this can affect the terminology extraction results. Other things that impact terminology extraction results include variations in orthography or the way that words are being spelled um, capitalization and hyphenation, the use of numbers, the use of abbreviations, having word orders that change um, depending on who's sort of the group of people that's writing about a, a specific topic. Machines are also not so good at ident identifying term boundaries. So within compound nouns, uh, machines sometimes will pick up stray adjectives that um, they identify as part of a potential term, but the stray adjective, in fact, isn't a part of the term itself. It's just being used frequently to describe a specialized concept. 
So how can we go about improving our automatic terminology extraction results? This is one of the first things that we would wanna do as terminologists is improve the output of the automatic terminology extractors. Well, one way is through the use of stop lists. Uh, that's a way to improve automatic terminology extraction. According to Manning et al., a stop list is a compilation of, and I quote, extremely common words which would appear to be of little value, end quote, in term extraction. And as such, the words within are excluded from the automatic term extraction results list. In the English language, words included in a stop list might include things like prepositions and articles, and stop lists have the benefit of producing a smaller list of potential terms for uh, validation by humans, although they also have the disadvantage of potentially producing silence in extraction results. For example, including a word like of in a stop list for English would prevent terms that follow the pattern of noun plus of plus noun from being included in the extraction results. If we were working with a corpus of IT, information technology related content, uh, the term Internet of Things, IOT, uh, would be excluded from our terminology extraction results. And that uh, concludes this presentation on the technological side of terminology extraction.